my way, okay? Shot shooter, I'm a shock drop trooper. If I want that, I'm a dive in scuba. My rap bar stay fat like Foopas. Y'all bring cap, get stomped like Goombas. Yeah, y'all suck like rumors. What up, what up? Welcome to the Ball Bomber Show, man. Yeah, we yeah. got a we got a special guest in the Crimbo Skimbo, Nick Fletcher, aka Sycamore Treasy. What up, bro? What's, what's going up, on with you, so dog? Hey, Thanks for coming yeah, in, bro. I'm good, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, thanks, what's new with you, man? Uh, honestly, you man, uh, I've been uh, just mad busy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I, uh, music, I got mm -hmm. new music on the way. Uh, I got uh, I, I got two kids. Just got back from Hawaii, bro. So, I've yeah, seen yeah, that, yeah, bro. That yeah, was yeah, crazy. Yeah. I've seen the pictures, bro. too. That was wild. How was that? Bro, fucking paradise, bro. Yeah. Like, 100% paradise, bro. What was the temperature, though? So... I'll put it this way, dog. So, <laughs> when we were up there, uh, we left. Uh, when we left Salt Lake, it was right. like I think like 32 degrees. Ooh, and, cold. And, and even, but even that for how cold it's been, I'm like, right. man, 32 ain't so bad. Flew into Hawaii. The coldest day we we were there was like 72. That was the coldest day, and that was because we were in like a rainforest setting, and uh, we were under like a bunch of, like a, like it was like a rainy day, and like it was raining outside. Still right. 72. Hottest day we got was like 98. So, Damn. Yeah, yeah, bro. It was, it was hot. Yeah. How was the flight? Took uh, the kids. How the kids doing the flight? Bro, so uh, I, I'm gonna tell you how the flight home went, opposed to the flight there. <laughs> was it terrible? So, Sounds terrible. No, so not terrible, man. But so uh, Hawaii is a fucking long way away. Right, right. So uh, we the the day we left, we were there for eight days. Yeah. The day we left, our, our flight. Um, so Hawaii. <clears throat> Hawaii is a, a four-hour time difference from, uh, like, we're here recording right. in Wyoming. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hawaii is a, a four-hour time difference, so uh, it's four hours behind. So, one, uh, with my uh, owning my business, I was having my staff hit me up at 8 a.m. our time right. to be like, hey, I have a question, and I'm getting texts at 4 a.m. Hawaiian time, <laughs> right. bro. So that, yeah, that's got yeah, yeah. to mess with you yeah, a little so, bit. So, sure, it yeah. took a while to adjust, um, but then... On the way home, our flight didn't leave until 8 p.m. Hawaiian time. So we had the whole day in Hawaii, Dang. and we had to kill that time. I uh, got to the airport, and then had to. we flew out 8 p.m. Hawaiian time, landed in Denver at like 9 a.m. Uh, like mountain time. And once we ended up doing that, we had to fly another two hours to Salt Lake and then had to drive uh, three hours home. It was, it was fucking terrible. Terrible. Bro. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Bro, we and, flew. I and, flew uh, to Louisiana last summer, right? Yeah. And we had the baby. Uh -huh. Oh my god! How, how long a flight? Uh, it's, it's or like maybe like three hours. Yeah. Three so, four hours. so just yeah. one. The, so the the flight uh, to from Denver to and from Hawaii, uh, we landed on the Big Island. Uh, so that flight is six and a half hours. Dang, just that one. That's, that's crazy, just one of the, one of the two that's flights. Crazy, that's Bro, crazy. exhausting. And then uh, we, we actually were joking about it. So everybody watching, we had to adjust <laughs> Jesse's whole oh, yeah, the yeah, camera setup because sure. uh, I'm six foot five. So I'm a big dude. Like I'm a big dude, and I don't fit comfortably on planes. <laughs> and so th that sucked too. Uh, like on the way home, ideally I'm flying out at eight p.m. I'd like to like sleep on the way and right nope, yeah bro i was fucking wide awake the whole time Dang, i could not crazy, sleep man. fucking knees are just fucking scrunched up against the next person and yeah it's uh <laughs> not comfortable bro that's wild bro yeah but yeah super yeah. dope man for yeah, sure yeah, for it, sure. It, yeah. and if, if nobody if y'all haven't ever been in hawaii uh obviously i'm sure it's stipulatory on where you go but it is what it's cracked up to be. Like the shit yeah. you've seen. Yeah, it's my second time. So it's been. just like on TV. Oh, bro, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's paradise. I mean, depending yeah. where you go. But I mean, even I don't even like I just being where you're at because it's so it's just so like pretty that I'm like how, like how could right. anywhere really suck? You know, I'm sure yeah. there's ghettos and slums and whatnot. Oh yeah. And we and we drove through some little shanty towns and stuff. But even there, bro, like. The, the fucking yards had like big old fucking coconut trees and banana trees and shit and like just did like, you pick like, anything yeah. off the trees? No, no, we didn't. Oh, then you said we went up there, man. jumped yeah. up there. You're yeah. so talking, well, just reached up. Our, our tour guy, know? our tour guy was telling us that um anything like so if somebody's growing something uh, on their um like say like mangoes they have man a mango tree in their front yard. And it grows over the fence. Right. And it's hanging over the fence. That's you can go get that. Thing. Oh really? Yeah. Like, oh. You, you can't access their property, or if it's just a wild tree, they're like, yeah, man, just, just go ahead and yeah, peel that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did. Yeah, yeah, you see crazy, a fucking man. pineapple tree? Go just grab go grab that. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope, bro. Yeah, yeah, super fucking cool. For sure, bro. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what else is new, man? Um, How's the business going? Tell us about that. You got the uh, the business. So uh, I own uh, Guardians Watch. Is uh, my company that I logos own. Logos up there. Yeah, so logos up there. I see that right there. Uh, 
and uh, I've been in business uh, independently with Guardians Watch um, as owner for like the better part of five years now. And uh, my wife and I, um, we have a whole team now, uh, but we work with kids and adults with special needs. Right, so, right, yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, I've been in this line of work in general for like 15 years, a uh, business owner for the past five. So what exactly do you do so the people, you know, out there watching? Uh, so uh, for anybody curious, uh, the way uh, my job works um, and uh, everybody I employ and uh, just my entire uh, my team of staff, um, when you have an individual who has special needs, right, um, right. they go through like uh, kind of an entire like um, – run of tests they'll do like a psychological evaluation an iq test and um after they go through this like kind of like run down of tests um the state will review it and um it's like it's different across the board so right, like wyoming's right. um like Medi levels yeah, right yeah, yeah levels, well, like yeah. wyoming's medicaid will be different from florida's medicaid or whatever or hawaii's medicaid right and however they decide to do it but here um if they approve for the waiver uh, the state will be like, hey, uh, we will give your organization this much money a year to assist this person in what they need. Once the uh, budget is approved, then we'll work with uh, what are called case managers. And right. We'll meet as a team, and you will uh, kind of like is with the team, as in like uh, the providers, um, the case manager, the participant, if they have guardians, like if they have their parents, uh, if they have a, a, a just a guardian, like uh, outside of that. And they'll really emphasize they really need help with uh, like budgeting, or they really need help with being hygienic, or they just need be help being social. Like yeah. they sit at home all the yeah. time. Uh, they need uh, some type of access to the community more and to be able to interact That's, with their peers. Right. So when people ask me like, "What do we do with our clients?" The umbrella is massive, bro. And some of those people they can't live by themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right? So they we uh, have, like, so pairs and yeah. Stuff so I like work that, right. Uh, yeah. Within my organization, just my like um, what we do because. Um, and our dis like the our community of like um, disabled individuals in Rock Springs, uh, uh, just a group of amazing people. Yeah. But with within my organization of people that I provide services for, I have people that are very low functioning, as in like um, nonverbal in wheelchairs need a lot of assistance with things yeah. um, like uh, as simple as like feeding and assistance with like. Uh, toileting, all those things, to very high-functioning individuals who have their own apartments and uh, pay their own bills right. and just need help with that little extra. So a big, 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 big spectrum. That's awesome, everything. dude. That's so, good for the yeah. community. That's yeah, it's dope, cool, man. man. Yeah, I've yeah. been doing dope, it for a long dope, time. Man. Very, very, That's very cool. Dope. Yeah. Well, I'm thirsty, man, so shout-out Smirnoff. You yeah. Know? Fair enough. Pick I up think, these teas. And a uh, shout-out to Cyrus. We'll give him a yeah, shout-out. Yeah, Cyrus, yeah. <laughs> I called Cyrus on a limb. I was like, hey, uh... Because when I had Aaron on the show, uh -huh. I brought him, he doesn't drink, so yeah. I brought him a Mamba uh, oh, body okay. armor, yeah. right? Because he's Kobe fan yeah. and everything. So I always try to bring somebody a yeah. little gift. So shout out Cyrus. Yeah. He told me Smirnoff. Yeah, so I appreciate it because when, you asked, this when you asked me if I wanted a drink, I didn't want to put out right, but like, yeah, give me a Smirnoff. Give me Smirnoff. Yeah. I'd be like, you want a bottle? What? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so good job, Cyrus. Hey. Thanks. Cheers, brother. Cheers. That's fucking good, too. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. Shout out Smirnoff. Yeah. Yes, sir. But anyways, man, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know? yeah. I see a lot of things you do, man. You do at the gym. I see at the gym. Yeah. You're rapping, you yeah. know, you're OG rapper around mm -hmm. here. Yeah, yeah. Long, long, your, long time. Yeah, right, yeah, you got your business. Yeah. Your MMA fighter. Yeah, you know, yeah. I see you just yeah. going out there, man. Right? You're doing all, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, man. man. Dope, uh, man. Uh, I try to, bro, I'm a very, very active right. individual. Right. Like, I'm always, uh, I'm really, like, I... I'm really bad. Like idle hands. I have to. I have to be doing something. Right, you have to like, do yeah, something. Yeah, something yes, like yes. uh, like if yes. I'm if I'm chilling at home, it's usually like the the end of the day. It's like maybe a few hours before I'm getting ready to start my right. bedtime routine, and I'm like get stuck in the TikTok. Right. Yeah. Like that. But this is this is what I do with the yeah. type of shit right here. What I yeah, but, late night right here. Yeah, yeah but otherwise, bro, I'm very much like uh, work. Uh, all the time. I mean, right, you, yeah. you can imagine like yeah, uh, sure. a bit owning a business, and then on top of that, uh, I still write and record music pretty frequently, and then I I, I train and do my MMA stuff uh, at least like four to five times a week. Yeah. And, yeah so yeah, very That's dope, and, man. And, and then same at the gym, That's bro. Dope. Like, yeah. The, what's really cool about the gym when yeah. I see you in the gym, you bring 
your, yeah, yeah. you bring your people mm-hmm. with you, man. Yeah. The, the, and, your clients that you work with. Yeah, and that's a good and example. Dude, like, and they, I can see how they're just, their face, their eyes. Yeah, bro. They're just yeah, happy, yeah. though. They feel just normal. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. dope, man. Yeah. That's and, so dope, and that's man. a good that's a good way yeah, to put it, man. Sure. Is, uh Is because uh, when it comes to the guys that I work with and uh, uh, any of the individuals in the special needs community that I have the like privilege of interacting with, um, they are my peers, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. their babysitter. I'm not their boss. No. Like I, I'm, I'm meant to be a beacon and I'm meant to be a motivator and a leader, but they're my peers, man. Those are like, uh, yeah. I treat, I treat them how I want to be treated. I treat them very respectfully and they do the same thing. You treat for me. them how yeah. you want to be treated. Yeah. Man. And they do the same yeah, for me. For man. sure. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool, man. Yeah, I see them all the time. Yeah. Dude, I can just tell they're yeah. just, their or their vibe yeah. is just Yeah. One, one specific, there, you know? one specific, uh, <laughs> uh, dude, so cool. I'll shout out is, and, uh, some people know him, but, uh, Monster Man. Like Monster Man, Monster Man. Yeah, okay. Monster Shout Man. out Monster Man. Yeah, yeah Monster that's Man. dope. Yeah, when Monster Man hears this, he will be smitten to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah, uh, Monster Man's uh, one of my buddies who's uh, done, got I mean, dozens if not hundreds of shows with me. Yeah. At, at this point, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's he's he can. Rap. He's a guy, yeah. huh? Yeah, he's, he's a guy. He's my dude. He's got he's got Down syndrome. Yeah. yeah and he uh yeah. He that's cool. He's got is he on YouTube? We can pull him yeah. up right now in the uh, video. Yeah, there's want to pull him up? We yeah, can pull him up. Man. Yeah, yeah. If you want to try to see. Yeah, him, let's pull him up. We'll pull him up right here. I'm, I'm trying to think of what if we have one yeah, of our we'll videos pull on him YouTube. Up right here. You just we'll tell me. We'll Bro, this is dope, so that everybody can see. You. Yeah, oh, we're cool. live right now. Well, how, <laughs> how, how, how embarrassing yeah. would it be if you just had a fucking embarrassing ass tab? Open? You didn't realize. Hey, before you came, like, I got like, a double like, check. It was like, it was like <laughs> big booty bitches. Big booty bitches. <laughs> BBWs. Huh? Like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But try to look up uh, Sycamore Treesy Monster Man. I think we have one of our videos up there. You know what? I think you're right, man. And if if not, I do apologize. Uh, you got a and then and then A M O R E, show it. A M O R E and then T R E Z Y. That's him there right there. Is. There he is. There's my dude Let's right play him there. For a minute. I'm just hit the. Mid- Where's this, he at? So this is actually a live show right here. This is a live show. show. Yeah, this one's live. This is live. Yes. This song is called Pinnacle. There's no far. There he is. Right yeah. There, there's Sycamore right yeah. there. That's you, That's right? That's me rapping live. Yeah, right there. Yeah, there he is. What park is what park is this at? Uh, okay, so let's talk. What, what park is this uh, at here? Stratmire, Stratmire Park. That's okay. Yeah. Stratmire, and it's a really cool that little dome that we're rapping in. Right guess, here. Yeah, they built that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's 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 pretty new. Uh, it's a uh, Super nice little venue, yeah. dude. It's super cool, and that was just a little, like uh, this part here. This is what talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell it's, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, super dope. And uh, actually, uh, the the show that I was opening for, um, if anybody, I'll shout these guys out because they're pretty dope. Uh, but um, actually, this fucking fits perfectly with the topic that we're even talking about. But it's the Odd Squad family, and they're, it's a group of rappers, yeah. and um, like one of them, he's a dude. Uh, he goes by Nubs. And, uh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he's disabled, and he, um, um, and uh, yeah, he's one of the fucking. He's an extremely elite rapper. He is extremely talented. But uh, it was him and his crew that I was open. Oh, for. really? Yeah. For this show? Yeah. Oh, so, shit. yeah was, That's dope. Yeah, the man. Odd Squad family. So shout out Odd Squad, man. Uh, shout out Odd Squad, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Let's, let's fast forward to Monster Man. Right? Yeah, let's see that. Look, there he is. There he is, guys. There he is. That's yeah, one. Monster Man. He's ready to kill it, huh? That's my dude right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. that's, my, that's perfect right there. Right there. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Hell yeah. That's dope, that's dope man. That that's cool. dope. That's, that's cool. so dope, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, man! That's dope, man. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad we found that. I didn't yeah. even know that video was. I didn't. I'm not. I didn't post that, so I don't know. No, actually, oh, that's dope. Oh, shit, somebody yeah. else is. That's actually. It. That's my brother. Yeah, Stone, oh. yeah, Stoner OG. Yeah, that's my brother. Shout out Stoner OG. Yeah, man. Stoner OG. That's my brother. That's dope, bro. Yeah, that's cool as hell. That's dope, man. Yeah. So when did you start with this uh, whole training thing? So uh, that, for the MMA, so man. MMA, what, what got you into that? All right. You know? So uh, on the MMA side of stuff, yeah. um, so uh, when I was. Uh, like really young, like elementary school era. Okay. Uh, I was fucking in love with like Jackie Chan and right. Jet Li movies, <laughs> and uh, I just I I thought that I just thought martial arts and like hand to hand combat was super cool. Yeah. Um, as a little kid, you know, like uh, 
listen to like the Mortal Kombat soundtrack, imagine in my head if a bunch of bullies at school came and right. kicked on me that I fucking, you know, <laughs> right. handle some business. Every kid's child. Yeah, literally, like yeah, basically. Right, yeah. 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 So, so, so that, and then uh, I started doing Kempo Karate uh, when I was a kid. Uh, so I did that, but I, I was still, um, I mean, uh, uh, still a sufferer of ADHD. Right. And uh, in, until like later in adulthood, I really haven't, I'm still learning how to like, uh, I think I think all of us yeah. struggle with yeah. ADHD. To yeah. be honest, with yeah, you. I feel that yeah. too. Uh, so, but it, it, more into adulthood, I'm starting right. to like learn how to like, um, like, uh, fo- uh, like to take my focus and to apply it and stuff, and like be able to kind of check in with my ADHD. Right. And like, yo, I get it, you're here, but I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. You say the ADHD thing, yeah. man, because not a lot of people know this either. But when I was a kid, you know, I my my mom took me to these doctors yeah. and prescribed me Zoloft. Yeah, same though. Yeah, dude, same. growing up, my mom I used to take yeah. these fucking pills. Yeah, dude, same. Yeah, all this shit. And I just stopped taking this. Yeah, shit same. One day, yeah, same. Yeah, you know? I, yeah. But I remember my mom never said shit. She's like, "Well, if you want to stop, just yeah. stop." Yeah, but, no, yeah so very, yeah, actually, very <laughs> similar crazy experience, you man. Say that, man. That's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I uh, I did that, and then from there, um, I mean, I much respect to karate, um, but it just. Uh, it didn't fit with me as well, and then I started doing boxing. Uh, my yeah. da- my dad, um, who uh, he passed away two years ago, uh, so yeah, rest uh, in peace. Yeah, rest, rest in, in peace. peace. Which I mean, we, yeah, my we dad, did, just, yeah. yeah, your father passed away yes, recently, sir, so, yes, um, and uh, he was a big fan of boxing, so uh, I started boxing uh, kind of uh, because I thought it was cool. My dad was right, into right. it, and it's then, just, it just is a bond yeah, there. Yeah, it was so, a bond yeah, so there. we yeah. so we had a connection. Sure. So I started boxing. I did that for a while. Um, had some some of my homies that I boxed with. And then, uh, uh, shout out to, uh, so my jujitsu uh, professor, my coach, uh, uh, Dave Winnick, uh, he owns Wild Faction, where I currently train. Yeah, shout uh, out Wild Faction, Rock Springs, Wyoming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll tag and hashtag in the description Yeah, yeah, below so well. huge, huge shout out to Wild yeah. Faction. So, uh, Dave, uh, before he had his um, actual, like our gym in the location we train at now, um, he was just, for the fun of it, training people um, out, of his, out of his basement. Like, um, so I just kind of through word of mouth and whatever it right. transpired, but I started learning jujitsu from him. Dang, and so, okay. yeah, so, so then I started going to jujitsu and that out of everything was the first one that really clicked with me that, that like, I liked boxing, but still I wasn't in love with that boxing. one filled that and, shoe. And, and, and I, like, boom, yeah, and right I like, I like, yeah. I liked karate. Yeah. I wasn't in love with karate. Started doing, doing jujitsu and I'm like, yo, this, this is slick. Like, if it, you really like, think about it, though, is karate cool, is kind of boring. Though. Uh, it, you know? well, not, not, I mean, uh, you know, okay. So if you this see is like on thing. TV, karate is <laughs> so, boring as shit, bro. So this is like, ha, this is hot. And then cutting wood and shit. And you're not, you're not wrong in the context like hot takes so you know no no, no disrespect you know? karate masters yeah my bad don't come kick me out but i'm just saying yeah you know? but when it comes to karate karate yeah. isn't practical bro like so in a real life if i'm at the bar right now and some dude is right. um like upset with me for Pressure whatever reason points, huh? yeah and, and and some dudes try yeah exactly yeah go try that shit at the bar and like what and then and then yeah. wake up and ask the first guy you see what happened right like, what, what are you doing to me yeah but karate is very um it's very like almost like a dance choreographed a lot of stuff um it's to me in a real self-defense scenario the other person isn't trying to like spar with you they're trying to hurt you they're not trying to have like an even exchange they're trying to like really do some damage to you um karate just isn't practical in yeah. my opinion no disrespect karate but no disrespect, um, yeah but that's sure. why mma and mixed martial arts obviously took off because um like Parts of karate are incorporated into it, but jujitsu to me is the, from my experience from doing karate, boxing, all the other things I've done, jujitsu is the most practical in the sense of, uh, if I were out right now at the bar and some dude wanted to fight me and I was like, bro, I don't want to fight, stay away from me. And he came at me, like if I wasn't fast enough to like, like tag him and keep him like distance and like want him to stay away from me and he got a hold of me, jujitsu makes me feel confident that i'm like all right like uh almost like this i mean this is like uh when if i i'll use this analogy without trying to sound cocky but if you have a guy who's proficient at jujitsu right he, he's um finessed he's technical he's um he, he's got a good grasp of the the um of the um like of just jujitsu in general 
and then a guy off the street who doesn't know what he's doing and he tackles you, you might as well drop a gump, guppy in a shark tank, bro. Because, like, a guy who knows jujitsu is going to hurt you. But, I mean, you never know, though. Yeah. I mean, well, you know what and, I'm saying? And, and, you and never yeah, really and, know, and, That is true. The guy, they, you know, you know what I'm saying? There is that. They have mad hands. They, well, that, that, and they not do be say, trained either, you they know? They do say they have the, there's always, like, the the um like the puncher's chance no matter what you right. could have an untrained dude yeah. who ha- doesn't know a lick of shit and a dude who's won 10 mma fights and getting a fight and the dude well yeah yeah, yeah. can throw hands I'll, but i'll put it this way because you're right you you do never know um and you can never anticipate like what's going to happen in a real altercation but I'll, I'll put it this way i'd much rather know how to fight and do jiu-jitsu yeah, and absolutely. strike yeah, than yeah. not than absolutely not. a lot yeah. of motherfuckers yeah. kicking nowadays yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah, I, I, so, so i'd rather you know what i mean yeah, bro, I, I try to <laughs> and what's even funny on my on my you know, i'm getting hopefully better. my head's so slick it might just, it's just slip bleed, right yeah, off just bleed right, right off just, just slide right off, off there you know what i mean people try to grab your head and just slip right off yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, you speaking, man? I'm gonna bring up some clips to you, man. I brought. Let me let me get some clips to you. Okay. Yeah, I got some clips, man. Check oh, out. Oh, you got yeah, some. Yeah, awesome. some oh, you got clips. the TikTok up, I got bro. Got the TikTok up because you know you had this one clip. Let's see. Uh, uh, I think it was this one. You had dude in a. Uh, uh, let's, let's see. Yeah, let's so see. That, yeah, so shout out. That's my that's my <laughs> MMA coach. Right here, Justin. right here. This is what I'm talking about. Look, right here. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's a Kamara right there. Boom. Oh, you got a beat. Uh, hey, yeah. uh, let's read. Hey, I seen. I was like. Ooh, yeah. he got okay. So that's my that's my coach. That's my MMA coach, Dustin. So shout out, Dustin. This is your coach. That's my coach. Shoot, You're doing your shoot. coach like this. Well, and, come on. And, and, to, well, and, and I I can't just because Dustin. You're doing if your Dustin coach watches like this. this. Yeah, if Dustin watches, just understand that Dustin. Dustin. Uh, there's, Let me talk. To there's you, tons of clips out there of Dustin doing me dirty, bro. Like okay, Dustin, well, Dustin, they, we they, gotta see that. Come they, on, man. They, Dustin is an extremely proficient fighter. Okay. Like that dude is a, um, a like a scary human being when it comes right. to combat. Like he okay. is a dangerous dude. So shout out to Dustin. But yeah, that's a Kimura right there. So um, I just uh, got uh, in a position where we went to the ground. I right. was able to trap that arm and uh, just uh, secure it. And yeah, I'm, I'm attempting Kimura. Yeah. But here we'll say I'll say this shout out to this one because I don't like to fake or fabricate. I didn't complete the submission. He 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 escapes that. Oh, he and, did. Yeah, he ended up escaping that. I didn't complete that. Because yeah, I can see yeah. in your in your face you giving yeah. it. Ah, yeah, you giving everything yeah. you well, got. Like, almost. Yeah. So well, and even there, you know? I, I'm being pretty mellow because you don't want to fuck somebody up in training. Oh, yeah, like, that, like, you could really yeah, fuck somebody like, up yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that could be a lifetime fuck up. Fuck, like, yeah, a dude. shoulder. Oh, um, man. So I'm being finesse. You can see I got my leg over. Um, I guess I can point at the screen here. But yeah, uh, I got my leg over the back. I'm trying to shift my hips out mm-hmm. to keep, create that angle to um, crank his arm, kind of right. like a lever. Uh-huh. Um, but he does proficiently. Um, he traps my... So, my, if, the, if he, I'm, tra- so say I'm Dustin, right? You got yeah. me like this. Uh-huh. I'm thinking I gotta get my, this this right leg over the top of this your left leg so, and try to swim up out of there. You so see what I'm basically, saying? what you want to do is you don't want so how my bottom leg is under him. Yeah. Um, he's doing a really good job at trapping it. It's pinned under him. My goal is I don't want to be flat on my back right here for a Kimura. Like that's not a good finish for right. a Kimura. I'd like to get my hips out from under him, turn to the side, and then keep him trapped um, where my leg is over his back. Um, and keep him trapped, but Dustin does a really good job at not letting me create that space. So I'm trying to get my hips out, and he doesn't let me. And he does he does escape that. He he gets out of that. So all right, well, sh- yeah. So shout, shout out Dustin. Yeah, shout man. out Dustin. I, I had a twist for a minute. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean. Let's let's fast forward. I want to see this part here. Let's go. Oh, yeah. whoa! Yeah. That was a perfect pause yeah. too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah actually, that was pretty dope. So that's my dude Garrett again. <laughs> I appreciate you for gassing me up. Because <laughs> hey, these are just hey, you on the podcast. Yeah, this is well, about you, that is man. True. You know what I'm saying? Because these dudes I'm fighting, trust and believe, they right. they are no, they're trained. They, oh, not you know not saying? only trained, bro. Like hey, my trained. boy Garrett, I'll shout him out right now. His last MMA fight. He's got another one coming up in June, but his last MMA fight. Um, he had had up in uh, he actually here we had one here a wild faction put it that on. That was the one at uh, the rec center. Yeah, what, what, okay. no, he. I didn't make he, it. I didn't he make he that knocked one. out his opponent with the one of the slickest flashy KOs I've ever seen. He fucking, dra- I mean, ragged all the dudes. So shout out to Garrett, fucking ragged all. Shout the out dudes. Garrett. Yeah, man. Garrett. Garrett's a tough dude, proficient. Shout out um, Garrett. But right he looks there, young too. How old is dude? I'm not actually sure. He's but probably about yeah, yeah, mid, he, I'd say he's early twenties. Yeah, he's in his like early early twenties. Yeah, early yeah. twenties. Shout but right there, right there, what I did, um, I, I kind of pride myself. I'm a, I'm a pretty good counter striker. Um, so I just threw my if if you really slow that that clip down. 
uh, I threw my uh, an uppercut under his attacking arm. Okay, and lefty. The, yeah, lefty. I, and I connected right on his chin. So it's mm-hmm. just a, a good. It was a really good time punch for me. Uh, yeah, that's a, good. It was yeah, a that's good. And but that pause was nuts. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. Shout out to him, bro. Wild, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, cool over hey, here, hey, yeah. man. You know, yeah. say you're on the ball bomber, right. man. This is your, this is my show. Yeah. You for got, you, bro. You, you got know? the ball bomber and the blonde bomber, bro. We got the, the fucking dynamic duo yeah. here, bro. So let me ask you one thing. What? So your business now. How'd you come up with the name uh, Guardians Watch? Did you just pop up? Or, <laughs> no, so or is I'm gonna it really, no, you know, I'll, meaningful. To yeah, you? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'll put it this way. Um, so when I decided to go independent and start my own thing, um, I wanted a name that, when the people that I was potentially going to work with, um, Guardians clients, right, okay. case managers, that any, makes sense. Anybody in my field, when they heard. Um, kind of um, invoked a feeling of like um, safety and confidence. Right. And right. Um, so a lot of my um, like participants have guardians. Like, so if you had a kid, a child with special needs, um, you are their guardian. And then my organization is the Guardian's Watch. We are the, the line of defense making sure that your child, your person, the person you care about is safe and protected. Right. We create the safety net. Yeah, so, that's why Guardian, yeah, man, that's so, perfect. Yeah, so, so the Guardian's yeah, Watch. Is, yeah. And then, and then it, sure. me being like a nerdy gamer, bro, it has also layers of like, bro, like it, it sounds like some like like some dope shit from like a video game. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, just like, yeah. man, send in the Guardian's yeah, Some watch. Halo type yeah, shit, that, for yeah. sure, yeah. Send, send, in, the, send in the yeah. Guardian's. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's like Destiny <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. Destiny yeah. shit, yeah. Shout out Cyrus, man. Cyrus yeah. got me on that shit. Too. Yeah, yeah, Destiny's little brother. And Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Still smack y'all asshole on that shit, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, bro, they suck at everything. Yeah. <laughs> Both them full suck. Yeah, man. Hey, you, game. So, what other games you play? You play sports games? Uh, no. Madden, 2K? No, so I'm tr- trash at those. Um. Fuck, racing games? Uh, yeah, I fuck with racing games. Yeah. Um, but mostly what I play is so Destiny. We actually brought that oh, yeah, up. Destiny, uh, me, yeah, Destiny. I got a group of friends uh, like uh, really heavily fuck with Destiny. Um, Call of Duty, like Warzone, uh, typical yeah. things like that. Wow, Warzone pisses uh, me off. Same, bro. I'm the I'm, bro, off, bro. I'm, I'm the dude on the team that's like, I just I'm there, you know. Right. Like, yeah. when they hit I me, just run around. Yeah, when they hit me up shit. to play, they're just like, I get they're like, sure participate. I just run thing. around type shit, try and get yeah. all the money. Yeah. And I'm, don't even know what to do with the money yeah, once I get it all. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at. It. And then when you type then shit. when you play like with dudes like like we'll shout out again Ryan and Cyrus. Is they like to play bully ball, bro. So they're like very much like full tacked out weapons. And I don't play enough to like have have the, all that the shit. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. have so they have like the weapon loadouts that are like fucking melting dudes in two seconds. And I'm running around with a basic ass M4, and they're playing bully ball, bro. They see a team of four, and they're like, there they are. Let's go get them. That don't. And you just got me. a knife. Huh? Yeah, I, yeah. I just I just run in there being like, yeah, this kind of knife. I'm just I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. dope, bro. That no, but dope. outside of that, man, uh, I have fucked with it. gets a lot of criticism, but Fortnite, bro, I think Fortnite's oh, yeah. actually pretty fucking hey, cool. Hey, man, those kids be busting motherfuckers' ass, Yeah, yeah they really do, man. But, 12, 13 year olds. Yeah, they, they really do, but I think Fortnite <laughs> is pretty dope. And Apex then, is dope, too. All the free games uh, yeah, are yeah, dope, Yeah, to yeah. Be Apex is dope. Go play the free games. Apex <laughs> is dope, but then outside of that, bro... Uh, I, like single player games, like I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Like oh, I, that's one of my favorite uh, gaming franchises. I am a Pokemon diehard for life. Yeah. Like uh, Pokemon is. What's my your shit. favorite Pokemon on the Game Boy? Uh, Emerald's my favorite. So, game. so my favorite game. If, uh, if we're gonna, try, if I try to narrow it down, because that's a very difficult question for me. But right. I'd say, um, I really fuck with. They're newer. They're on the Switches, but I really like Sword and Shield. Mm. Um, and then I fuck with. Uh, uh, Pokemon Crystal. That's, that's I mean that's back on the old school. Right. Game. Yeah. yeah Pokemon Crystal. I got a switch, man. But my my yeah. kids usually you know fuck yeah. with that. Yeah, bro. I, so I, I like. So I really po- don't be on that. I like Pokemon so much, and I like my family to play with me. That I my wife has her own switch. I have my own switch, and I brought bought my daughter a switch. That way, just that's we crazy. can all play Pokemon yeah, that's together. Crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty funny. Sure. Yeah, yeah, talking about your wife, man. That's crazy. Cause uh, I was telling my wife actually, she didn't believe me. I was like, yeah. Because I'm related to your wife. Yeah, bro. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, that's crazy. A lot met, of people don't know camp, that. Yeah, camping. Bro. Never, yeah. yeah, the, the old, yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. I was telling my wife, dude. I was yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah, forever ago. My, my, so personally, my first... Uh, so me and Jesse go way fucking back. Oh, man. But my, you see me with my wild days, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, we were all wild though, bro. I'm like, surprised yeah. I wasn't yeah. in. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you yeah, and the, the group we ran with, man, were pretty fucking wild. Holy shit! But yeah, I, I remember. My wife, her family always did these big 
family reunion camping trips. And I don't even want to classify it as camping because it was like bougie as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just like go they out br- there, they brought they, they brought <laughs> campers. We were with them like a two mile drive of a gas station type of shit. Um, but it, and it was her whole family, and that's the first time I, I, I my I don't know if we'd met prior, but that was my first memory, like really no. talking to you, like really. That was yeah. that was the first time I ever met you. Yeah, so then, yeah, that was yeah. And, and yeah. then as life went on, you know, yeah. and then I met Cyrus. I don't know how the fuck I met this motherfucker. Anyways, I don't even know, dude. But then we, I was like, oh yeah. shit, I know this dude. Yeah, but my my story, <laughs> yeah. mine, and, mine and Cyrus's story of how we met is fucking wild. Yeah. So yeah, I've yeah. heard a lot of stories, man. Yeah, yeah, huh? me, yeah mine and Cyrus. I heard a lot of stories, man. Yeah, yeah, me and Cyrus, how we met was fucking wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of stories, man. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about, bro? I got some, I got some tabs up. Uh, anything on your mind? You just want to get off your chest? <sighs> so uh, you know, you want to get something off your chest, or <sighs> you know. Uh, so one thing, uh, I mean, I got some new music I'm working on, so I guess yeah. I can, I can plug myself, so. Oh, yeah, hey, look, some shame with, as, uh, as you're doing okay. that, let's, let's, uh, we'll plug you up right now. All right, all right, yeah, so I got a little, <laughs> we're bringing up the Spotify. The Spotify, right, hey, I love this song right here, Wolfgang. Oh, Wolfgang, that's actually my, my bro, brother. there's, there's a punchline on there. I was like, ooh, wait, that yeah, shit bro. was fire, yeah, Wolf, bro. Wolfgang's barred the fuck up, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. a good song right yeah, there. Wolfgang's yeah, Wolfgang's barred up. And you verified? Yeah, verified, bro. Um, verified. Verified. I've been a, uh, uh, actually uh, pretty recently. Uh, so actually, you know what? This is what I'll talk about because I, I I was going to uh, make a TikTok about this, but I feel like this is actually kind of a, a perfect uh, opportunity to to plug this and also uh, just for other independent artists. So, for the longest time, bro, is a is a musician and uh, on the rap side of things, because to me, when it comes to music, rap out of all genres is the most competitive. Like, it really is. Well, yeah, like, everybody wants to uh, rap. Yeah, yeah and, well, not only... Everybody's not, rapping, it, yeah, too, not, And not know? only does everybody want to rap, but it's like when you rap, part of the, of especially, like, really underground hip-hop and the, the early beginnings of it is really flexy. Like, I'm the best. I'm better than you. So I always equate it to, like, boxing. Like, being a rapper is kind of like being a that's, boxer. That's being a like, good yo, like, bro, I'm the nicest. Like, I'm, okay, like, so I'm the nicest. So How do you feel about rap and drill music? Do you think those are the same type of... In the same genre as I, I would drill say, music got its own genre. I think drill drill has its own genre. Yeah, but but I think I that too. I think that rap has gotten. But rap involves drill though. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think when it comes to rap, yeah. so, this is a good way to put it. So you have like rock music, and then like I feel like heavy metal and rock kind of are like uh, related in like a lot of similar ways, and then you have like punk rock, which is different yeah. but related. I think rap has expanded. When I think of punk rock, yeah. I think of like pink or. Yeah, like shit, you know, yeah, like shit like that, yeah. you know. Yeah, or, like or like that, a you know? fucking. Uh, I don't. Know I, don't if, I don't listen I, that time. Yeah, me either. So. I, I was about to say something like shit, like but, Fall the, Out Boy, but then Fall Out Boy fans might be like, "No, they're not punk rock." I couldn't even name a Fall Out Boy song. But um, <laughs> but like so, I think rap has expanded enough that we're at the point where it's starting to do that. So it's not just rap and hip hop anymore. You have like emo rap and you have drill rap and you have trap music and you, you have do, yeah. uh, like under, you of... have like backpack rap and, and like so now there's all these sub genres of rap. Uh, but for me one of my favorite uh, like formats of rap is the braggadocious flexi. Like uh, we can talk about like for instance here in a minute we'll put a pin in it but, like the Cole and Kendrick shit going on right now. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that because I don't want to talk. I, I, have you heard the new song? Yes. I don't want to listen to it because I'm doing a reaction. Okay, video so you haven't listened to it. So I don't want to. Okay, I all right, I'm, t- to it. I'm, I'm doing glad, a reaction video. I'm glad. To I'm glad you told me that because I won't give any spoilers. Yeah, I don't want to. Listen I won't to give it. any spoilers, but I I'll I'll, to I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll glean on the topic. But so anyway, um, for the longest time, uh, I thought who you got Kendrick J Cole. Kendrick, dog. What? Kendrick, bro. bro I've been listening to I J. Got, Cole since I got, was in so eighth it hit, grade. Well, here's the thing. Bro. I love J. Cole as J. well. J. Cole's a fucking um, goat in but, my opinion. But I think that uh, out of the big three, I think Kendrick eats him alive. I, I don't, I but Drake's think. got more more everything. I, I think that Drake... Uh, Drake's Drake's Drake, you know Yeah, Drake's I mean? Drake. <laughs> uh, Drake's like a... Uh, I was actually last night talking. He was about, at Diddy's house. Yeah. <laughs> so he was at Diddy's house. So they probably were all at Diddy's house Everybody at some point, dog. Yeah. Uh, that's another fucking crazy thing. We, we gonna get to it. We about, gonna bro. get to it, bro. But when it comes to uh, to Drake, I was actually talking uh, to my boy Crook um, and my my homegirl Callie about this last night. Drake in hip hop has become such an icon. Um, 
in music in general and pop culture period that the dude has started like uh like the whole like started from the bottom now we hear yeah uh that's in a, that's in a shit ton of songs that's in a shit ton of references like uh, jokes about it in movies it's like, everywhere drake is so powerful he can take a rap line and turn it iconic he's done it with multiple things i think he started yolo i think drake was if i'm uh, I don't know. He know. might be actually. Yeah, I, think, I think it was either him or me. Those. One, yeah. Okay. It was one of the. But yeah. Two. But but like but, but Drake has that ability. We can fact check that. Yeah, we can. We can. Check let's fact, yeah, let's check, fact it check it. Yeah. Who let's started? Who who let's, said let's yellow? Who said quick. yellow let's, first? Let's let's fact check it real quick. <laughs> you guys got any guesses in the comments before we hit enter? Let's, let's see, see here. It's snowing out here. Internet's being... Oh, it was Drake. Drake. Okay. 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 Drake. okay. I told you, dog. It was right, fucking Drake. Right, yeah. So, bad. Drake. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, again, like, that's Drake's power. Like, YOLO will... Be, it's literally officially, like... It's, like, in the... Front. That was that was yeah. a movement. Yeah, yeah a movement. Yeah. That so, was a whole movement. So, Drake has that power. But when, I, when it comes to not... And I, we're not even just talking about rapping. Because all three of them dudes can rap. But I'm talking about, like, dissecting somebody. And, like, doing it with, like intention yeah. i think kendrick has him uh just because he has drake for sure uh, like i think about shit like uh for the big hip-hop fans um and i'm sure you've heard a lot of this stuff but like control his verse on control kendrick mm. ate that fucking thing but bro that his verse on control was so dope when it dropped uh, it when it dropped it literally shook up hip-hop Every did, every yeah. every rapper was like feeling some type of way. When you write a verse that's so dope that everybody starts being like, "Fuck man, fuck this guy," like you know, <laughs> like, fucking asshole. Yeah. Um, it, so that and then uh, and then he has this freestyle he did on BET, um, and uh, it's with uh, uh, God, I, I, I think Absol's in it and stuff. Uh, I think. J Rock might be in it, but I like J Rock yeah, too. But uh, Kendrick's uh, just at the end of it, he, they rap to the Shook Ones beat, and Kendrick fucking goes off. And if Kendrick brings control or that freestyle type of energy to it, I don't think it's they, a rap, huh? I don't think they can hang with him. Yeah, I'm a but, huge J Cole. But, and I'll put it this way: uh, you know, it's a cold world. Out I, here, I, I'll put it this way: <laughs> I, I'm not going to say anything else about it. I'm really looking forward to you listening and doing your reaction video to J Cole's response. I want to oh. know. I want to know what you think. I'm gonna post I, it. I won't say shit else, but I just want to. <laughs> yeah. Think. I just I'm, I'm gonna post think. it. Yeah, I'll I, probably make the yeah. video Sunday. Probably post it Monday. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I won't say shit yeah. else. But it's I, so hard not to listen to it so, too. Bro. I gotta get off TikTok and yeah. everything. Yeah. And, I, well, and I'll, I'll say. <laughs> I'll, be on I'll say I appreciate yeah. the fact that you're genuine. <laughs> that you. I think there's some reaction videos where the people have listened to it, but they pretend they haven't. Right. I think it's a lot cooler to have a genuine response to hear something and and. Sometimes it's hard though because like. I'll hear like little snippets yeah, of it. Yeah, it's almost like, yeah. oh shit. Well, yeah, especially especially <laughs> you know? TikTok, bro. Like the yeah. fucking the I heard the entire Kendrick verse just from snippets on TikTok before I heard the song. Oh, when, see, he dropped, yeah. when he dropped I, his like like fuck the big three. Yeah. It's just big me. Like I heard that yeah. fucking I just every time I flip through a fucking like three or four videos and boom and pop, pop up. So like trying to hide from that shit, you might as well throw so it. I had a notification that said Kendrick did this uh -huh. and I was like immediately deleted it. And I, I did. Like, yeah. I tried my hardest not to listen to it. Yeah. But I did hear that part. Yeah. But I just didn't. I just said, oh, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. The yeah. rest of the song, I so, listened to the whole song. I never heard the whole song. So before. I can assume, but, yeah. safe to assume, you you got J Cole. Is that is that who your money's on? Yeah, I do. You got J Cole. Yeah, for sure. You got J Cole. That's my but, guy, but man. Same, That's here, my but guy. Here, but here's the thing. That's to, my go. Same. Though, I, you know? I think J Cole is fucking phenomenal. Um, he. Uh, one of my he's one of those dudes where um he comes up with lines that are so like i love so i'm huge on like double entendres like yeah it, for anybody listening it, uh, this is going to sound very condescending but a double entendre is when you say something that has double meanings like like you say some shit and like um like spit us a little yeah, something real quick uh, like so uh, um like off one, the top well, I, I, well i'm gonna give a j cole example of how dope he is on one of his um uh one of his songs he says um, your whole click gets slid on like a mouse pad. So like your mm. whole click, like your group, but right. you click a mouse, mouse and a mouse pad and you get pad. slid on. So <laughs> yeah. and just like just it's simple, but it's like your whole click gets slid on like a mouse pad. And like J. Cole is so fucking good at doing those, bro. And like so he's one of those dudes and I'm like, man, you like uh so when he's doing that shit, like uh he Yeah, that was, that was, that's uh, fire. And, huh? <laughs> and, and also on regard to J. Cole, bro, 
I can't think of a song, a feature that somebody's bodied him on. If J. Cole gets on J. Cole, somebody's songs, that's he, why he bodies you. Like you. You just have to accept if you get J. Cole on J. a song. Everybody loves J. Cole. I don't know why Kendrick did that. That doesn't yeah. make no sense. I, just because he was on a song with Drake, probably. Yeah, you know, know. Shots fired. Yeah, well, shots fired. The, the first, first person Everybody shooter, loves shooter, Cole, yeah. man. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know? And also, <laughs> it, it, Cole, loves Cole, but I'll, put, I'll put it this way, you man. Uh, Cole, uh, so Kendrick, Cole, and Drake, and I put this out to every rapper, big time or local. This is for local rappers. This is for... Um, and not just local as in like local in our state, but local as in independent. You haven't like you're not in the mainstream yet. If you're gonna get on the mic and part of your like um, your catalog when you're rapping is flexing and that flexing is you being like, I'll eat you alive and I'm the greatest MC. If you do that but you refuse to battle, yeah, like, you got I, I don't take you credit. It's, no, you got a hard yeah. time because you got to yeah. If you're gonna say that, yeah, you exactly. got those shots. So, so I've, I've, back bro, back. I'll put you it this to. way, and, and you, you can look at. Uh, you can look at my yes. track record when it comes to rap beefs and disses because yeah. I've had a lot. Um, I stand on my, I stand on business when it comes to that, bro. Yeah. Like if I get on a song and I'm like, yo, I'm I'm dope and I'm this and that and you can't touch me. If somebody's like, no, you're not. I'm like, fucking find out. Like I'm I'm that guy. Yeah, you that I've, guy. Okay. I've mellowed out a lot more now. Hey, you, you got you got you got you know you got someone you trying to throw some no, back no, at no. Or? So right now okay. uh, I've I've had beef with um lo like vocal rappers here. I've had beef with some rappers out of state. Um, every I'm cool with everybody right now. Like, okay, I, that's why I, well, yeah. I didn't know if no. you wanted to call so put any that, rappers. No, or, so I'll put that. So if know? any rappers are listening and thinking there's that's, some, that's there's some, there's yeah, some yeah, layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm cool with everybody right now. Okay, everybody, I didn't know. I didn't yeah, know. I'm we, cool we with everybody right now. Um, but again, um, I equate it to boxing. I could be cool with you and still hand you, right, hand, right, you right, hand, right. hand you some like you know like right. hand, throw hands. I think I think our little town needs a little rap beat personally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let they can react to something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, no, uh, but yeah, there's been uh, uh, to me. I, I think that's a really fun side of it, yeah. the competitive side. I'm actually thrilled that um, this is going on in hip hop. I think it's exciting. I think it the is. Whole, I, I it think brings the, it back a little. Yeah, bit, I think the Drake, know? Kendrick, and Cole. Situation. Do you right remember now. when Drake and Meek Mill went at it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit yeah. was dope, dude. That I was dope, was bro. Dope. And then fucking uh, but like, Meek Mill he was at Diddy House, man. I don't know, uh, bro. <laughs> uh, um, bro, this is good. okay. We're gonna do something right now because I, right, I, I did it last night. I did it last night with Crook and Cali. Okay? What are you doing? So, is, right. it, is it crazy? It's or? Meek Mill. You have to Should type. I be you, weird? you have to type <laughs> it in. But type in so Meek Mill. Um, bro, what are we doing? Meek Mill. Butt cheeks, what? Butt cheeks, and then gun, like just gun? gun. Yeah, gun, and hit enter and go to images. Just do it. You ain't gonna get banned or nothing. Go to images, cause it it images. Yeah, go to images. One, two, three, click. What are we, we looking let's at? Let's see if it pops up. It popped up. Keep scroll down a little bit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> if it's gonna show up. What are you looking for? Keep scrolling down. So there, scroll he. Down. So I saw this hilarious ass meme. Um, look, look, Diddy's looking at that right now. So I saw this funny ass <laughs> meme, and I don't know if Meek Mill like tried to eradicate it from the internet, but there's a picture of Meek Mill out there taking a selfie. He's in just some red boxers, bro. Just red boxers. Okay. He's got a gun tucked between his butt cheeks from behind, and he's taking a mirror selfie. What? Yeah, he's taking a selfie in the mirror. On some freaky shit. Yeah, on some weird shit. And the reason I thought it was hilarious is somebody shared it and they said whatever it was that picture. <laughs> and it said whatever they said Mil Meek Mill did, he probably did it. He there probably he did, huh? <laughs> hey, actually, I since can... we're talking about the Diddy Hole shit, let's just Google well, Diddy and let's just cause uh I made a whole Diddy reaction video. I'm gonna try to find will you do this, I'm gonna try to find the fucking Meek Mill picture. Yeah, find that picture, man, and then I don't we can pull you can just show the camera on your phone. But yeah, I did a whole video on this Diddy, Diddy stuff, and uh, now it says that his son is accused of ass assault, sex assault, too. So Jeez. that's what I'm saying. Like, what's really going on? Yeah, that's his son right there. There's Diddy and his son. Yeah, they're all going down. Let's see. Everybody's going down, but it's over with. Yeah, no, that, that Diddy shit is wild. It's over with, but right? they're all fucked. Everybody's fucked. Everybody's fucked. It, it's not that's all right bro we <laughs> it's all right bro you know i'm just gonna let the internet try to find it themselves internet just... if you guys can find it yeah you know what? that's actually yeah if you yeah, yeah. If, if you find <laughs> if you guys it find that sh shit. Share, share i would love to see that uh, bro, I, mean, I will find it before the because I, I, I found it. it last night the reason i'm laughing about it is last night um 
I was hanging out with my, uh, with, again, my homie Crook and uh, Cali, and we were talking about it and the Diddy and Meek Mill shit. And I brought it up. I'm like, did you see that fucking picture that went viral? And they're like, what? And so I explained it to them. And then I was like, man, what would I type into Google to find that? And they were like, uh, like Meek Mill, butt cheeks, gun, selfie. And I typed it in and it popped up. And oh, like, shit. And I was like, that's probably the weirdest fucking thing I ever typed right? into fucking Google. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. No. Hey, I seen this shit the other day, dude. This fuck, I don't know. This two-headed girl. Have you heard about that? The two-headed girl gets married. Oh, I did see it. Oh, yeah, I did dude. see it, actually. Yeah. Would you do that? <laughs> I mean, you know, we're both married, but... If, okay, in a hy- <laughs> hypothetical... If you like... Okay, hypothetically, so you got two heads, right? Hypothetically? Yeah, hypothetically. Hypothetically, right? I'm mostly... I'm truly, genuinely curious how that would work. <laughs> dude, me too. Yeah, That's yeah, what I'm saying. I'm just... Uh, I'd be me very, too. I'd be very genuinely curious. But like... Yeah, I got like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, because I, I know exactly the the, the, like, the girls you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah we gonna pull them up yeah, right I know here. Exactly what girls these are girls right about. here, bro. This is crazy, bro. This is so crazy. Yeah, these yeah. girls, dude. Yeah, no, I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing just in the news that yeah they, they. But what's crazy is I think. What's like, which one did you marry though? Like, no, that, no, that, no, that's what they. So what's crazy is that's what that. Uh, I think the article I read was yeah. is he only married because uh, it's Just literally it's, it's literally it's the, but how does that even they're, work? They're two they're two people, which is uh, like it's just like a very <laughs> crazy concept, man. Yeah, he married one of them, and yeah. Yeah, wild, do they man. do they have two so different socials? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they got to, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? they got to, Like, which yeah. one's got the best credit? Yeah. You know, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and who's driving? Yeah, yeah. 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 well, and it, it makes me wonder because, like, I mean, like the like just anatomy and physiology it's it's insane to think so like right now like there yeah. are two heads but like left and right hand like um is one of them more in control of like their fine motor functions like, that's what you know, i was yeah doing. that's what i'm curious of like is one more in control of like um like their upper body in one control that's of, like, what i was worried body. about like what yeah it's just it's yeah, crazy my mind is crazy dude i was like who goes to the bathroom no yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Like, and it, yeah. like i'm thinking weird shit or if like, like you're or if you like if we if we were attached right now bro if like you were wide awake and i was ready for bed you right. know like where it's just like <laughs> am i sleeping or yeah, like? yeah, you're like, yeah it's, like, <laughs> it's yeah, crazy you're actually, and you yeah. get married and yeah. i mean and what, and so you really <laughs> you really married both of them, honestly. Because yes. I mean, yeah. if you go to the bed, right? Yeah. At he, night, right? You he, get cuddled up. He's and just shit, like, he's just know? like, put this blindfold on. <laughs> put these headphones on. You know put he's, the, you know he's in both mouths. Put Come on now. On. Put the blindfold on. <laughs> you know he's in both mouths. Come on now. No, I did see that though. I did see that. <laughs> That's crazy. But shout out, man. man. That's cool. Uh, you know what? To to really even curve it into yeah. like a super positivity, man. Like. It's cool that love, it is cool, lo- man. love, love, man has no. And bounds, it's cool bro. for the guy. He, yeah, he no, don't yeah. give a fuck, man. Yeah, love you has know? no bounds, man. You like, don't give a fuck. Yeah, love is a wild thing, yeah. dude. Yeah. He, yeah. all his people, man, probably yeah. disowned him and like laugh at him. Yeah. He don't care. Yeah, love it. Love is He's a cool like thing. In man. love with one of them, I'm not sure which one. Yeah. But that that part is dope, though. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's fucking cool. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got another. What about this Justin Gaethje fight? You see that? Matt yeah, Holloway. Yeah, yep. You do us three three hundred, bro. So I love that shit. Uh, I'm, yeah, he's a B. Yeah, but I think I think Holloway's got it, bro. I think. I, I, yeah, but Max is small though. Yeah, he, I mean, but he's he, small, but but, but, Gehi, but but Max you is know? he's a fucking tough dude though, bro. Like he's just, he is, he's a bro. fucking he he's he's a monster. Uh, the one that I thought was really cool recently was uh, did you watch the O'Malley fight? The most recent did, O'Malley yeah. fight, man. Man, he fucking he did him dirty. Dude, like he, it was. O'Malley's a monster. Yeah, uh, so you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. This is a cool place uh, to tell a quick story. Uh, so, um, back in the day, I have a friend that I go to the gym with frequently. This is, and I'm, I'm talking like this is has to be like probably close to ten years ago mm-hmm. or more. And I go to the gym with this dude, and um, I, I mean, I've been doing music for a very long time, so I was uh, really heavily still into creating music. And he is like, hey, bro, you should do a walkout song for my cousin. Um, he has his first amateur MMA fight coming up. And I'm like, oh, that'd be pretty cool, man. You know, like whatever and stuff. But literally never, ever followed up on it. I never followed up on it. I just didn't really think much of it. And uh, next thing you know, um, flash forward to a few weeks ago, I was watching that fighter fight in the UFC because it was 
Sean O'Malley. Damn. Yeah, so I don't. Uh, so, you blew a major bag right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, if I would took an L, if man, because you I, know I, he would have been like, damn, well, who was that guy? Well, well so, you know? uh, so Sean, uh, for, uh, uh, so Sean O'Malley currently arguably one of the biggest names in the UFC yeah. currently, but probably in the history of it. Like, he's going to go down in the record books. He's got um, crazy style, um, crazy yeah, vibe, uh, pink but, hair, but he, pink glamour. Yeah, but he, he has well. family that lives here. Um, yeah. Uh, I um, used, I worked with a dude whose cousin, uh, yeah, Simple. Yeah, was it Brandon? Brandon yeah. O'Malley? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. So shout out Brandon O'Malley. So Brandon was the cool dude. Was Brandon man. was the dude that was like, hey, you should write a song for my cousin. And no I was, shit. Yeah, and I, and I was, shout out Brandon. Yeah, yeah, so, I seen him at yeah. our kids' uh Concert uh -huh. and you know we both of us are like damn I wish this shit was over <laughs> yeah so yeah shout out Brandon that's yeah, my so, yeah. guy yeah, Brandon's man. a good dude man yeah. And, uh, and yeah yeah he uh, he had get, and I'm sure like you know if, even if I would have done it like it had just been a cool thing on the resume to be like oh I wrote a fucking walkout song for Sean O'Malley yeah. back in the day but yeah I never did it and so that's kind of mm. one of those things about uh, if we if we, we want to tell stories bro I could tell stories about times that like I. I got caught slipping on opportunity and then look back and I'm like, fuck, what, like, why? What, well, I, yeah, man, it's, it's called growth, yeah. you know? Yeah, What's but, some things, you know, if, if now that you know, because how old are you now? 35. 35. 35. I'm, I'm just now 30, okay? Yeah, so 35. So yeah. I'm 30 now. I got three kids and a wife, yeah. you know? Some things, what, what's some things you could tell me knowing that, you know, you so, grow up, something you could tell me? So, uh, you know? yeah, bro, I got a lot of information when it comes yeah. to that. So one, I'll tell you right now. Uh, or something you could wish you could change now that you know. You know? Uh, so I don't necessarily actually. Yeah. I'm a firm believer, and like I don't really necessarily have anything I think I would change. Uh, it's very cliche, yeah. but uh, I'm a very firm believer, and I wouldn't be sitting literally here being able to conversate with you in a podcast if my life had deviated in some kind of major way. I think everything happened that was very important for the right reasons. And I'll be honest, I'm a very balanced and happy dude. Like I'm, a, yeah. I'm, I'm a balanced and happy dude. Um, and I, it took a lot of work to get there. Um, I will say, I think that in today's modern society and like social media doesn't help this at uh -huh. all, like TikTok and Snapchat, but there's a big like thing where um, people imply that um, like literally people will be getting into their like early to mid twenties and they'll be like, Oh, I'm so old. I'm so old. Or like somebody will be a musician and they hit 25 and they're like, Oh, well too, it's too late for me, right. bro. Um, shit didn't start popping off to me until like after I turned 30. Like, for instance, my music has never been more successful than it is currently. Um, as an athlete, so with my training, and my my workout regimen, my dieting, um, I have never been in this good of shape. 35-year-old mm -hmm. me would beat the fucking brakes off 25-year-old me with no fucking Fuck contest. Fuck yeah, that's growth, that's yeah. improving, man. Yeah, uh, that's so, dope, man. So, uh, yeah. so I just, I, I think for you to tell you, bro, 30, like, bro, I think a lot of people, and even that 30 sounds like a big number, like the big 3-0, it is, but bro, like, you're a fucking young man. Oh, like, yeah. 30, year, 30 years old is your, like, you're... You got so much to still achieve and accomplish, and that, I mean that goes out to everybody else. And I'll extend that bit well beyond that because uh, there's uh, like people like uh, like bro like Whitney Houston, um, for instance. Her big solo career didn't take off until like I think I don't even know how old she was, but like very late into her life. Like and then you ever you ever fucking seen the show Impractical Jokers? Yeah. So I fuck with shout out Impractical Jokers. Hey, dude, I fucking so love that dope, show. Dude. But Impractical Jokers are. You know, those dudes, um, they, uh, I watched them on a podcast one time where they were talking about like telling people like positive message, don't give up on your like your dreams and your passion right. and this and that, because they had been doing um, like TV pilots, stand up comedy, um, improv shows for decades and getting told no, 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 nobody wanted like to fuck with them, and then they just sent a pilot of Impractical Jokers to True TV. They accepted the pilot, and now they're mega stars. Like oh they're, yeah, dude, they're, they're huge, so dope, popular. and they're funny and, and here's the thing. Shout out Merv, that's my yeah, guy. Mer, <laughs> Matt, yeah, Merv, Joe, Sal, Q, yeah. bro, all of them. They're all those dope. guys are so dope. Bro. But with that, bro, they, <laughs> yeah. they they didn't their careers in that sense. They didn't take off until they were in their thirties. They were like so. Again, See, yeah. that's the thing, man. With me too, with this whole podcast thing, I have a, a video of me. When I was in eighth grade on this old ass camera, and my wife found it, of me doing reaction videos to a Mayweather fight. Oh no shit! Yeah, dude. No shit, Swear bro. to God, I, I got fucking, the yeah. fucking camera that's in there, dope. and I was like, 
you know, 15 years old. That's fucking dope. And I was like, what the fuck, you know? And I was like, I've always wanted to do this. Everybody yeah. said, oh, and what's you're crazy. Because cool you, know? you said you were 15 when you did Yeah, like, I was in eighth grade, so, yeah. I mean, no, probably younger than that. Yeah, so you were younger than that. But even that, or bro, like that's cool. Because like that, like that, was, that was before that was even popular. Yeah, bro. dude, so you I were, got you, a video. You were like ahead of the game. <laughs> Have you posted that yet? No, yeah. Bro. Look, 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 look. It's on this camera right here, bro. Look at this old ass camera, bro. <laughs> Look at that is a, that is huh? our, that is archaic technology. Oh, huh? y'all ain't ever see that, that shit. That is fucking archaic technology. Yeah, there's a video on there, bro, and it's me doing a reaction video, bro. You to have, a Floyd Mayweather bro, fight. You you need to fucking <laughs> you know? take that footage somehow and get it and splice it with like. Uh, then and now, that I was a, dude. I was thinking cool about video, doing it. I was that'd be a fucking cool it. concept, bro. It's so crazy, that'd be a cool bro. Concept. Yeah, but if you when people like so, you, just back to you asking for advice, bro. Is uh, and uh, this extends to you, but just everybody. Uh, it's hard to say these things without sounding cliche, and, right? And it's cheesy. always gonna sound the same. It, it will. It, it will. It's it's just like it can sound cliche, but I'm a a big a, a, again a big proponent on. Uh, I'll put it this way. Um, uh, quite a few years ago, I, I had uh, something happen in my life that like totally flipped it upside down, bro. Like, I, it really messed me up. It really uh, fucked you up. Oh, bad, bad. Yeah. And it put me in a really, really dark, dark mental place. Um, a, a place that uh, I didn't think I was gonna make it out of. Like, I was that depressed. And Did you ba back then? If you, uh, like, if you would have asked me then, it was all bad. It was all bleak. Did it, you it, fall it, into like an, an addiction, or uh, you got yourself out of it? Or, essentially, bro. You know I, what I, mean? I I had a. I, what happened was, uh, so throughout my upbringing, uh, just uh, I, I, just some trauma had taken place, and then um, as I got older, I just did this kind of weird uh, transition in life where um, I had another traumatic event that had happened, and that traumatic event like broke the floodgates. So like the traumatic event happened, and it just kind of like everything that had happened to me previously that I kind of just like bottled up and. Right. Uh, kind of like repressed and was like oh you know shit happens whatever right um the other traumatic event just broke that and when all that like trauma started to like spill out i just didn't know what to do like I and just, so, so how did you yeah. get yourself out of that so out of that dark hole so because you know? so, a lot of people are in those dark holes. yeah so so here's you what know? i did man i'll i'll, I'll be i'm gonna be so genuine and, and sincere here uh so what happened for me is i i had my first panic attack um this was uh, I, this is probably going on like five years ago. Okay. So I had my first panic attack, and uh, when I had it, it was uh, bad enough that I ended up at the ER. I had my wife take me to the ER because I was convinced it wasn't a panic attack. I was like something else. Like happened. having a heart attack. Yeah, no, like, or some and, and, shit and, like that and being shit. honest. And if you would have asked me before that if I'd ever had a panic attack, I'd have lied and said yes. But and I, okay, I'll take I'll, I'll I'll retract that a little bit. Is I wouldn't have lied, but I would have told you yes, thinking I had, because I'd had anxiety before. I'd had right. like, like anxiety and kind of jittery. I'd never had a fucking panic attack. People who suffer with panic attacks, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's different from just like um, even even high level anxiety and panic attacks. They're like like you could still have high level anxiety. A panic attack is a different beast. So I'd had a panic attack, and that just kind of, that's what kind of broke the seal. So I went downhill and fucking quick, like, and I was in a really bad spot, but um, really determined to not want to stay there. That's good, man. So what happened was uh, the first thing I did is my wife, uh, shout out to her for being like a true, genuine, like partner in life and a supporter. She bought me a book called uh, My, My Little Book of Inner Peace, and it was by the Dalai Lama. And I started reading. So I started reading my little book of inner peace and I'd reach it and I'd just pick up little nuggets of knowledge that would like really resonate with me and positivity and hopeful outlooks. And um, I started uh, doing that and then I kind of started searching more for that knowledge and I found a book that was called Dare. And Dare was about like overcoming like anxiety right, and trauma. Right, and right. I started reading Dare. And then after I read all these books, it gave me all this like really good advice and all these really great like ideas and thoughts but then I realized for a little while I was being a talk about it, but not be about a guy. So it's like, oh, I read this stuff and it really resonates me uh, with me. And these are really good like tools to have to like fight anxiety and depression. But then I wasn't doing that stuff. Yeah. So one day I was just like, uh, I gotta be about it. I gotta. I can't that's just talk that's about crazy it. that a book, yeah. a book helped you with your addiction and your depression yeah. and, yeah. and your anxiety and all that because. Yeah. 
in today's in 2024 we got phones yeah exactly you know and yeah. i well and even that me people, personally yeah. i haven't read a book in years yeah well and, you know and here's I mean? the thing is, is me either like, that's crazy i, I wasn't that a big book, reader book it, helped you, and, and when people do ask me so i'm going to just go ahead and shout out like for instance the dare book in general um the dare book if anybody is suffering with high level um anxiety um i recommend the dare book um it um it goes through the each letter of the word dare and uh gives um and like an action to do to fight. So I'll, I'll just give, do a quick rundown on the dare book. Um, it's, um, beautifully written. It is uh, very motivational. It's very, it, it gives you a lot of peace and each chapter it'll be like, okay, D so D on dare is diffuse. So first you diffuse your anxious thought and I won't even dive into it here, uh, because it's so complex, but so D diffuse a allow. Um, so now you allow your thought, you have your anxious thought. Now you allow it. It's cool. It's, it's okay to have it um, because if you don't allow, um, we'll put it this way. If you have high level anxiety and you have anxious thoughts that are intrusive, you don't want to have these thoughts, but your anxiety is making you have right. them. Trying to repress them is like holding a beach ball underwater. You're going to hold that beach ball underwater back up, and it's yeah. going to pop sure. back up. So allow is like, okay, stop trying to like fight this like feeling and these thoughts. Just allow them because you're not a bad person for having them. You're not like a, um, that's kind of why that's literally why they're called intrusive thoughts they're they're there to like get your anxiety playing a trick on you and being a deceiver and then um the r um is run after so then once you go through all that um you start challenging like challenging your anxiety because um anxiety is geared uh, to keep us safe the reason it exists in us biologically is to keep us safe um our anxiety doesn't realize how modern our society is. Like no, it doesn't. in today's yeah, world, like sure. bro, me and you were sitting in a warm house right now. <laughs> yeah. you, we got drinks. Uh, we're not gonna. We, we're Smearing not. Smirnoff, shout yeah, out Smirnoff. Yeah, shout out Smirnoff. We're not gonna. We're not gonna starve in here. We ain't gonna fucking freeze to death in here. Uh, but our anxiety is geared to be ready for those scenarios. We're not gonna get eaten by a fucking tiger in here. Like your dog keeps coming in here. So he might eat us. <laughs> or she might eat her. But, no, uh, he ain't on shit. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, uh, but our anxiety, again, is, is geared to like protect you um, in, uh, from those type of things that, we don't, that aren't a problem for us right. anymore. Yeah. Um, so um, you basically kind of rewire your anxiety to remind it that it's safe. Um, your anxiety is only firing because it thinks you're not safe. And it truly doesn't understand that you, it thinks that you're safe. You could be sitting in traffic having a panic attack and your body's giving you the same chemical response is if you were getting attacked by a tiger because it just doesn't know the difference. Yeah, see, it doesn't know the difference. Yeah, you're so, explaining it to me, but I, I guess I've... So there's, there's people out there that, that know what you're talking about, yeah. you know? But if you've never really had one, yeah. Yeah. you're not going to really experience it, 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 or yeah. and it's, it is have that euphoric it, it, effect that yeah. you're really talking about, yeah. you know it, what I mean? And, so. and you're, you're absolutely right because um, that's where in, like, therapy, they're called uh, peer specialists. A peer specialist is somebody who, like say you have severe childhood trauma, if you go see a peer specialist, it's somebody who's had severe childhood trauma and yeah. has overcome it overcome and, and, and become they're... in a better place. So and, and it sounds like another thing, yeah. like a guardian. Yeah, and so they're, yeah, they're your absolutely. peer specialist because like in those moments when you have that high level anxiety or depression, it's one of those situations where you might feel hopeless and like things will never get better, but then you'll meet a peer specialist who's like, hey dude, I was mate, where, not maybe not even where you're at, I was worse than where you're at and now I'm doing great. I'm doing good. So, um, that's kind of what I try to embody. So then that's the, uh, the run after side of it is you run after your, um, your, if your anxiety is being really, really high level and it's really stressing you out instead of like running from it and cowering to it, you run after it. You tell your anxiety, bring it on. Yeah. So if anxiety makes your hands shake, like challenge it, like, yo, fuck it, make them shake more. If you have, if your like heart feels like it's going to pop, call your anxiety out. Like, yo, fuck it, make my heart pop, bro. You can't, you know? And it's obviously, it's all it's all internal thought and like it's uh it's it sounds silly um in co like out, like outside of context but um so you challenge your anxiety to kind of take away its power and then the e is engage you engage back in life so it's like okay you went through all this stuff now get now back we're to, here yeah, now we're get, back yeah, get back let's to, fucking yeah, go yeah, back yeah, to work yeah get back to what fucking the fuck start you killing shit again yeah you know? get, yeah get back to what get you back was to doing what the yeah. fuck we were doing yeah. so yeah the, get there, back on that grind so i'll put it this way if if anxiety when i first had it um, was a big fucking scary ass fire breathing dragon. Um, when I started reading uh, like the My Little Book of Inner Peace and the Dare book, that was my sword and shield. 
Like, I went from, like, having to run from the dragon and be scared to where I was like, oh, shit, I can fight this dude. I can right. fight this motherfucker. And I, and I did. I did, bro. I'll put it that way. I just did. And flash forward to now, man, I'm a happy dude. Like, I just, bro, I was just I'm a successful business owner. I still make my music. Uh, I, I'm a beautiful wife, beautiful children. I was just fucking in Hawaii, bro. Like, right, yeah. I was just in Hawaii. Hey, I ain't never been and, to Hawaii, and, bro. When bro, I say I was in crazy. Hawaii, bro, I was living it up in Hawaii. I was For fucking sure, basking dude. in every goddamn woman Why I could, Why not? Bro. Yeah, I was living it How come you didn't come back a little darker? Too <sighs> pasty, bro. I'll put it this way, bro. <laughs> I am darker, so that's, that's telling you something, bro. I am darker. Bro, dead ass. That's funny. I, 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 for anticipation for going up to Hawaii. I actually had to tan for two months in yeah. a tanning bed just because I was so scared, scared I was going to burn up there. Because <laughs> I, I mentioned earlier, I've been to Hawaii twice. The first time I went was for my honeymoon. And day one, bro, day one, got, I put sunscreen on and everything. I got so sunburned, it fucked up the rest of the trip. He's looking like lobster. Yeah, bro. I mean, I got, oh, I got yeah, I got roasted day Thank one. Thank God I'm so, black because I just get yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, so day one I got fucking cooked and I I vowed to myself it wasn't gonna happen again. It wasn't and it didn't happen I'll again. put it this way, bro. <laughs> Not even kidding. Everybody excluding my, my homeboy Jay who went with me because Jay's black as well. So he, yeah, he's he, dark, he, dark, he was yeah. out, Jay was out there just fucking living it up, didn't have to worry about the fucking sun like uh burning his ass. But um, everybody else got sunburned, but me and Jay, and I was proud of that. That I'm yeah. like, I didn't get no fucking sunburn. Yeah. You want us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get no sunburn. Right, yeah, right. so yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that's that's kind of like uh, 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 just when it comes to mental health and stuff. Uh, it's cool that we could like kind of get on that topic yeah, over for here sure, man. because that is a big important thing. It for is. Me. It is. It's important for me yeah. just because I. I it's important I, for everybody. The whole world. Yeah, is because important for, yeah, you know? because because I've I've felt hopeless, bro, and I know I guarantee there's millions of people who feel hopeless. And uh, I'm a big advocate for um, you can bounce back from anything, bro. Like you can, like you if you if you get fucking a haymaker from like something in life, and you're fucking laying face first on the canvas. Get back yeah, on that horse yeah, and bro, keep yeah, grinding. Yeah, you can. Because you can do yeah, it. You can succeed um, no matter what. Yeah, you can yeah. have be have your Rocky Balboa yeah, moment sure. where you fucking stand up and you're fucking beat the fuck up and you put your motherfucking hands back up because you can still fight. That's what I believe. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's, yeah. that's deep right there. Yeah, 100%, that's deep. Man. That's yeah. deep right there, and that's one hundred. Yeah, so. you got to keep going, man. I, me personally too, man. I've been through the ringers. Well, oh yeah, bro. And well, and a everybody. Good, has, a good example, you know? man. We're if we're getting yeah. deep here, bro. Um, like when I lost my my father, like that was a fucking huge blow. Yeah. That was an enormous blow for me, bro. Uh, when I lost my father, and then when you lost your dad, I remember I'd seen it on social media. And right away, I was, my heart broke for you. Yeah, and then, it was rough, yeah, man. My, my heart broke for you. And then I saw you at the gym, and we got to talk about it. Because uh, even that, on a mental health level, bro, like, uh, like those are the things that life throws at you, and you have to figure out how to... It's got to keep going. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and, not only, and, I, and my position is not even not only keep going, but I want to do better than I was yesterday. You know, Absolutely. And like, uh, and and like, um, if I have a if I have another dark day, I don't want it to be as dark as my darkest day that I've had. You know, like I just, um, my my goal is just to try to, uh, be as happy as often as possible. Now, Man. like it's it, it, like it's impossible to be happy all the time, and that also would be boring as fuck. It would so, be, yeah, boring be boring as fuck. If you was yeah. just happy all the fucking time, yeah. eventually happy wouldn't seem if you're that not, happy yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. But my goal is like. Life is hard. Life is crazy. Um, my my goal is like, yo, I'm just gonna try to be as happy as often as I can. And even when the when in the shit that I don't want to do that sucks, I'm gonna try to find a reason that it's cool. Like I'm gonna try to find something that I gain from it. Like it, yeah, it's just yeah, that's my perspective, dog. So yeah, see, that's I'm the same way, man. I want to be happy, and I wake up every day, and I want to make an impact yeah. on somebody else, dude. Yeah, and, you know? and, and a good example, bro. Shout out to you for the podcast, bro. Like yeah, the podcast, sure. your reaction videos, because. Uh, you you wanted to do, to do something and you did it and i'll be honest bro i'll put it this way this is where i'm gonna give you a big big compliment from me because uh i feel like uh, so a dude who's been in the entertainment industry for such a long time i've met a lot of people that i would consider like two one either phony that like they're like very much talk about it but don't do shit like, right. so, so the dudes who uh just 
they're always there for the conversation, but they're never there for the performance. Yeah. Thing, you know, and then you also have the people who really want it, but then they just haven't found them yet. yet. Like there, I've, I've, I've met a lot of rappers who years into rapping, I'm just like, man, like, I think you're a great dude. I think you're like a great this and that, but like, I just don't fuck with your music because it just, it, to me, you haven't found your voice or your style yet. You got to find yourself, so, man. So, you know what I mean? So when you had told me at the gym that you were going to start doing like a podcast and start doing like videos and shit like that. I was bro, like, motherfuckers that, looked that, at me crazy well, and, I, and I didn't think you was crazy. Motherfuckers I mean, thought I was yeah, wild, yeah. bro. I brought the, the whole tripod in the gym. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah exactly. looking at me yeah. crazy as fuck. Yeah. I didn't look fuck yeah, so, though, dude. And that's like, cool you did because, because I will no say what. once I started watching your videos, bro, and some of the shit you was doing and you're like little one-liners, I'm like, yo, Jesse's got it, bro. <laughs> I was even uh, so dead ass on the way here. I was telling my wife because um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go do the podcast of Reed and all that and uh uh, when that's we were, crazy yeah. call me reed yeah. bro yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everybody call me reed yeah man. yeah so yeah. yeah so when when we were doing that uh, when i was telling her um she's like well have you checked anything out yet like you know what you're going to get into like just because again she's been with me for so long that right. she's she's watched me like uh and like, she probably knows yeah. i was a little bit crazy yeah. and, so, and, and i don't you know. even think it was in that context yeah. i think she just was like yeah like you're going to do a podcast like is this legit like is this somebody who knows what they're doing or are you just yeah. showing up to a house and they're gonna have their cell phone out you know <laughs> right. and i was like no i was like his setup is legit and not only that i was like i was like babe i was like he's got uh i was like i see that i could see him picking up some real momentum and steam like with what you're doing because i watch your shit bro and i'm fucking entertained I'm i like, hit for t- almost 10k yeah so that's what, last, yeah yeah last week yeah bro and that's and that's bro and that's <laughs> fucking know? beautiful bro. i just started that's i'm only a month be- on youtube bro man. and that's fucking beautiful you know? i just bro. keep it 100 raw yeah. and i'm gonna tell you how yeah. it is and when well, you're, you're funny bro yeah. you got a good yeah. personality <laughs> like you, you you got some good jokes like yeah. I, I i was listening to your uh your reaction video to the fucking song that uh I'm pretty sure it's the one that, that Kendrick's on, but it wasn't his verse. And one of the rappers says something like, "Only hang with bitches who do cocaine" or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah. like pause it. And you're like, "Ooh, you gotta surround yourself around yeah. a different way." Versa. And I was laughing. You know why? You know why I said that because I used to date a chick yeah. that was doing that shit. Yeah, so yeah. Drain my fucking bank account. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, yeah. "No, no, you gotta get yourself yeah. a different woman." Your bank account gonna yeah. get drained because that shit happened. Yeah, and bro, and that, that shit was for real. That was a gen- and when, <laughs> you know, when I heard it, like, you, got, you got a genuine laugh from me. <laughs> just like your saying? reaction because you paused and it was like, ooh, no, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, <laughs> you gotta hang out. Because I people. done been there, you yeah. know. what I'm saying? I was like, no, oh, I don't like that verse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, but yeah, so, yeah. So shout out to you, man. Like, I, I think, appreciate it, man. I think Thank it's, you, I think it's cool as fuck what you're doing. I appreciate that, and and not only what you're doing, bro, but like, but like you. You, you're good at it, bro. Like you, Appreciate yeah, it, man. You got something, bro. I'm trying to get better, you know. I want yeah. more people on the podcast and my reaction videos. And one thing, bro, um, what I want to do is so um, what I'm going to do coming up soon is so I have I have a bunch of new music I'm working on. Um, one song in particular that um, I might even I might even send this one uh, for you to do because it, it's cool. But I want I want to have it's one of my newer songs I'm working on that's barred up, bro. Like that has a bunch of right. double entendres and metaphors and just a lot of cadence switches and like rhyme patterns in it. And I want to send it to you and I want you to do a reaction video too, bro. Bet, I, I bet. Cool yes, if that's that, a big yeah. bet. Yeah, yeah you got it. That's think, a big yeah, bet. I, I got be, you. I think bro. that'd be cool. I got you. Be... I'll do a raw reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight up. Like, I I'll do I, a raw I, reaction. I don't want you to have ever heard the song. I want you to go ahead and just listen to it. And I'll send you something, bro, that I bar the fuck up. Like I will bar that. I will bar that thing up. Uh, yeah, but speaking of that, so we'll, we'll circle back to the, I was supposed to write a song for O'Malley and new music is, um, I got my homeboy, his, uh, his name is, uh, George Torres and he's, oh yeah, yeah and shout he, out George. Yeah, George. He's he, doing his thing. Yeah. Man. So, so George, this dude is a fucking phenomenal MMA fighter, uh, local fighter. Um, his last fight fought beautifully, man. Just a really fucking well finessed and technical fight. And, uh, he is fighting again in, uh, I believe June. Yeah, June. And I, where's the fight at? Uh, it's here. So, so uh, it's in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Yeah, so Rock Springs, okay. Wyoming. It uh, at our rec center. Um, it's gonna be. I, I don't know the exact date, but it is in June. But it's um, Wyo fights, and uh, a bunch of my dudes are, are fighting in it. Um, I'm doing the halftime show. So I guess. I mean, that's actually news. We haven't even announced that yet. <laughs> oh, but I am doing. Shit. The, yeah. So that's, you're doing a halftime yeah, show. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So, so I'm the halftime show for, okay. the, for the fights, and then um, I'm doing the fight camp with my boys. Um, in like the whole training camp with them, but 
I wrote a, a walkout song for my boy George. So so that is one of my new songs. All about, right, man. Yeah. You already said too much. Yeah. Now stop it. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Don't say too much. Yeah, you, already, yeah. you already announced you're doing the halftime show. Yeah, so, but yeah. Or whatever, yeah. so, you yeah. know. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, but a bunch of cool shit, man. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what else you got coming up, man, in the, in the future besides the fights? Uh, so, honestly, uh, not a lot on the books there. Um, now, at the point that I'm at, I'm trying to uh, learn a a good healthy balance of um a guy who has to wear a lot of hats so i'll put it this way bro um admittedly you, you ask you, us ball people yeah, you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. help me out. yeah help me wear hats better i got right. you bro like i'm great at wearing hats but a, a, a guy who who's like got his hands in a, a lot of different pies so um one very very focused on being a good father so yes, sir, i absolutely. love spending yeah. time with my kids my daughter hannah my son atlas beautiful amazing children and i fucking love hanging out with them they're like my 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 best friends uh we have the a beautiful relationship uh they're um absolutely they're like like they're goofballs i'm the kind of dad when i get home like we're playing games like space bakery and i'm pretending to be an alien and i'm calling right. and ordering <laughs> all sorts of weird like fake desserts right. that i'm the same shit. way bro. and like yeah, yeah and we're like yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it just um so hang with my kids and then as a husband i love spending time with my wife connecting with her making uh, sure that that's like it's a very important relationship that I invest like genuine intention into. And then a business owner, bro. Um, I currently, uh, my business, I have over a dozen staff. I have, um, dozens and dozens of clients. I have uh, like, so, um, the individuals that we do assist in the community. Um, I have dozens and dozens of participants that I assist with. And with that, I have case managers I have to talk to. I have contracts with the school districts, like things like that. And then um, just yesterday I had a meeting um, with some like crisis prevention stuff that I'm trying to like um, be an ally and an ad like an advocate for um, with that. So um, I'm trying to balance all that, but I still am like, I'm still sick of more treasy, you know? Yes, sir. So, like, so yes, that's sir. Kind of, so it's like, I'm sick doing, of more treasy, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, so still I'm, him. Yeah, so I'm still, yeah. So, and that's really what I'm trying, and that, you saying that exactly, I'm, I'm still him. You're I still am, bro. Him. I'm yes, him. Sir. I am him, bro. And, uh, that's so with all the stuff that I'm trying to do, I'm I'm still kind of currently in the the phase of like balancing that. That it's where it's like okay, um, if you look at my like, and that's why when when you hit me up to do the pod and you're like, yeah, man, I can't do it until like like nine or ten p.m. because of kids, very relatable experience. But with as busy as my life is, I'm like, bro, that's the only times I'm like really yeah, yeah, free. Yeah. Like I'm usually tied up until gotta, like nine or ten p.m. Yeah, in the yeah. evening. I gotta you know? work. You know what I mean? Yeah. I gotta be a dad. I gotta be exactly. a husband. And I coach, I coach my daughter's softball team. That's fucking coach, cool too, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, we got to go juggle all this and do the pod. Yeah, exactly. And you got, exactly. It's got to be, you know what I mean? And, and you'd adapt to that. And I appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. And that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, so as, as for music, um, I'm actually kind of decide if the, the music that I have, um, I have a, a good handful of songs that are ready to go. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to drop singles or if I'm going to make it an album. So that's where I'm at. So how many is, total albums do you have? Um, as as for the people can look okay, you up. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and actually. I mean, yeah, we can because you could pull it up on there if you have your Spotify. Yeah. But we have. Let's see. So legit official albums. Like legit total albums. My yeah. legit official albums. I have. I have. Oh, I'm saying that something went wrong. Here's you can pull it up on there. On Spotify. Alright, here we go. You got 2020, so, yeah, so 2017. You, so, yeah, go to Show All. Go to Discography, Show All. Um, yeah, because maybe, I think maybe those are just singles. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, Album Show All. Here's yeah, your albums so, yeah, right so here. So, I have, you start, let's start at the bottom. And we'll, I guess, bring it up on the screen. Let's pl we'll just plug this as well. Yeah, so if you start right, at the bottom, the bottom, so we got, so we got Crescendo, so one, Crescendo, Canopsia, two, Rose Gold, three, Local, five, Warriors Garden, six, Mixtape, seven, Not For The Casual, eight, uh, Where We Go To Be Savage, so nine, I Can Leave You This, ten, uh, Dump The Clip, eleven, and Gorgeous Nick 12. So 12 official. Man, you got a lot of albums, yeah, bro. 12 official projects out there. And then multiple singles. That's dope, yeah, bro. Multiple singles out there. So That's dope, bro. That's you right there, man. Yeah, there he is. 
Well, yeah. thanks for coming on the no, show, yeah, man. Yeah. And, I truly appreciate you know, it, man. Uh, uh, I want to give a, a huge shout out to you again. Appreciate it, uh, man. I appreciate doing. the love, man. Yeah, I think what you're doing is cool. Um, I think uh, that your setup's cool, bro. I'm like really, <laughs> I just, I'm just impressed, bro. Especially yeah. for you being as new to it. Um, is a uh, just like uh, it's cool to be a fan and also a friend. Like, I appreciate yeah, it, man. Because cool. yeah. I'm, I'm the same way. You yeah, know? Yeah, I'm a so, fan and a friend. Yeah, so, so it's cool. Yeah, so know? it's cool to like watch your stuff and be a fan, and get and then get excited to like. Like oh shit, I could be on the pod. Like, <laughs> right? Oh shit, me. It's yeah, a good I, feeling. Like, huh? I could be on the pod. It's a good feeling oh, when you're on the pod. Yeah, yeah it's a good feeling. Pod. Yeah, so so I appreciate it, bro. So yes, thank sir. you for having me on, man. Yes, like, sir. Uh, appreciate it. Appreciate uh, it. I want to network more in the future, yeah, and I'm gonna sure. get you a song. So all your friends, and I'll, I'll say this right now: is a Sycamore Treasy plug. Um, if you're cool with it, I'll have you send me some clips such as this that I can post on my TikTok to, to, to tell people to follow you, bro. Absolutely. All your social. I'll send you some shorts. Send me some shorts. I'll post them on my TikTok Absolutely. because I want uh, my fan base to come to be your party, part Absolutely, of your fan man. base. And Absolutely, so, man. Yeah, so we and, gotta expand together, man. Absolutely, bro. For sure. I'm, hey, well, hey any man. last thing you want to say to people? For anybody out there chasing their dreams, Sycamore Trees is gonna tell you what. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna tell fuck you, the people. Uh, yeah, and do what you got. To yeah, do. exactly. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, be ignorantly selfish when it comes to your passions. Um, in the things that really invigorate you and light up your soul, make you feel good. If you're passionate about it and it's happy, healthy, and safe, dive into it. Dive into it. I don't give a fuck if you decide tomorrow at 50 years old you want to start doing MMA. I don't care if you're a fucking 37-year-old rapper that everybody makes fun of. I don't give a fuck if you decide to be 30 and start a podcast, bro. Bah. Do what the fuck you want. Yes, sir. Do it. Do it. Make do you, it. It makes you happy. Do it. One last thing before we go. On the last part... Aaron Webb did a freestyle. Are you down? A fucking freestyle, bro. To end the to end the pod. To end the free, you down? I don't know if I got any freestyle bars, but everything I got written right now is like pretty. You know, I'm gonna save it for everybody. It's gonna be tight knit. I'm, All I'm, right. I'm gonna save it for him. He did. Right, he I, gonna save it for you. Yeah, heard I'm, him. Gonna, I'm gonna save it for you. Heard him because I I got some shit and I'll put it this way, bro. Uh, anybody who hangs out with me in my circle, Cyrus, because um, anybody listening when we talk about Cyrus, he's obviously very important. Uh, another phenomenal rapper my boy crook within my circle if anybody is like okay when it comes to rap like what is nick's weakest attribute it'd be freestyling bro okay i, don't, yep. I can i can write like a motherfucker right. but when i freestyle hey, at least you're honest brother. when i when i freestyle you know? i'm so used to like with my kids making up like goofy songs when i freestyle my brain just goes in that so like <laughs> i i just can't i can't when i freestyle I can't say serious shit. I say some silly shit hey, when I That's alright. I can't even rap, so yeah, we're so. good. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. right, man. The Ball Bomber, we out. Thanks yeah. for watching. Peace. Peace. Out,